Do I have to speak in tongues to be saved? The answer is, you need to know Jesus to be saved. Speaking in tongues will not save you. You could speak in a tongue all day long and have received the gift of tongues, but then land yourself in hell if you are not abiding in Jesus. So many people will land in hell even though they receive the gift of tongues from the Holy Spirit because they were disobedient to the Lord Jesus. They did not keep in step with the Holy Spirit. They just took the gift of tongues and started speaking in tongues, but never were obedient to Jesus every single day. Salvation is abiding in Jesus. It's not a spiritual gift. Spiritual gifts come from the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit bestows on us spiritual gifts when we call on Him. If you want to know about the gift of tongues, then seek of Jesus. Don't listen to this man or to that man, but ask of Jesus. The gift of tongues will come to you if you desire it. So also will the gift of prophecy and many other gifts if you desire it. But if you earnestly desire spiritual gifts, then you should desire more that you speak what the Lord Jesus wants you to speak. Because that will edify, it will build up other true believers. When you speak in a tongue, it edifies you, it builds you up. When you speak in a tongue, that is your connection between you and the Lord Jesus. That's personal between you. That's not to be done in front of other people. That is to be done before Jesus, just you personally. So if you speak in a tongue, then great. But if you do not speak in a tongue, and you desire the gift of speaking in tongues, then wait on the Lord Jesus. Ask Him about what it means. Seek of Jesus. Don't go around asking people what it means to speak in tongues. You need to ask the Lord Jesus. This is what Paul said in regards to spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. For no one understands him. However, in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. The tongue that the Holy Spirit gives you is not a tongue that you even understand. And if you try to impress people or hold it over other people and even pray for them in your tongue, it is worthless because they don't understand it. Paul says it's better if you speak a few words in a known language than a thousand words in a language that is not known. That's because when you speak in a tongue, it's only edifying you unless you're able to give the interpretation to what that meant. But a lot of times, the Holy Spirit does not give us the interpretation. We speak in a tongue, and we don't know what we say. The Holy Spirit speaks with groans too deep for us to understand, and it helps build your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Many people write off the gift of tongues as unimportant or rubbish. They think it's something crazy. But if you do desire the Holy Spirit gift with tongues, then seek of Jesus who gives this gift. Man can't explain it. Only Jesus can explain it. So if you desire it, then when you pray, ask the Lord Jesus what it means and seek of Him. But don't write off tongues as if you should not have it. And don't think that you will be saved if you do. This is also what is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 39. Therefore, brethren, desire earnestly to prophesy, and do not forbid to speak with tongues. Many people have forbidden believers who are seeking Jesus from speaking in tongues. They say it's of the devil, or they say it's made up gibberish. But speaking in tongues is a gift that comes from the Holy Spirit. And if you desire it, you have to ask Jesus what this means. Don't listen to this person or that person, but seek of the Lord Jesus. The gift of tongues is real, and the Lord Jesus is real, and He wants you to seek Him. And when you seek Him, 
He will give you these gifts. May the grace of Jesus be with you.